Hey Capricorn, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we're delving into the person on your mind, okay? What's going on with them, all right? Take it if it's your story, leave it if it isn't. Any and everything that has to do with myself or the channel will be down below in the description box. And as always, thank you for all of your support, okay? Let's go ahead and delve into this person's energy spirit, please, and thank you. First and foremost, this is someone that um, has a social media presence, okay? This is somebody that is very social, all right? I feel like you may be even acquainted with this person through social media, all right? This could be a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This could be a Sagittarius in the third house, okay? This is somebody that is very adventurous, okay? Um, they like to have a lot of options, okay? And I believe like with this social media presence, it allows this person to have many options, okay? Even many collaborations, all right? I really feel like this is a happy type of go-lucky person, you know? And they love to communicate with others. Yeah, with collaborates and bring insights and develops and assists. This person has a lot of people in their energy that look to them for guidance, you know, or look to them for some type of advice, you know, or even just their outlook on certain things in life. This person could be very financially set, okay? They could have some type of media presence where they speak to individuals about gaining finances or getting their credit together or, you know, how to build certain... Uh, um, channels, uh, Vimeo or YouTube, you know, this is a type of individual that could have Sagittarius in the second house, okay? So they're very innovative when it comes to the material world, okay? Uh, this is also somebody that um, they follow their gut instinct, okay? And this leads them to follow their imagination. So it kind of goes hand in hand, you know, where this person is called to certain things and then they create wherever they're called to, all right? This may be someone when things get a little too hectic, they could run away though, okay? This could be someone that sacrifices a lot of themselves, um, seemingly for the greater good, but it kind of comes out as they sacrifice a lot of themselves for their business endeavors, okay? Although it seems like what they do for business is kind of fun. It's kind of different. Okay. Here we have the eighth house, obsession, investments, intimacy, secrets. Okay, I feel like this person is starting to be a little bit more transparent. That wanted to come out in reverse. This person could have Sagittarius in the eighth house, okay, and their birth chart. But this is an individual that, you know, although at times... Um, they could be fixed in their ways, excuse me. They could be fixed in their ways, but I see this as a person that really wants to change, you know, in many ways, you know, it's like the opposite of a fixed sign. This is like an individual that likes to go with the flow. Okay. Um, more so like push the envelope as well. Okay. And this is somebody that likes to live in the moment. They like to, uh, receive instant gratitude. Yeah, this person follows their intuition, but they are also somebody that hides a lot of things, okay? This person has secrets, okay? And these secrets sometimes affect their mood. You can always tell what's going on with this person behind closed doors by the way that they act, by their emotions, okay? This person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Know that this person is deep in their thoughts about how they're going to communicate something. This person could be a Cancer, heavy Cancer energy, Sun, Moon, or Rising, okay? They could have Cancer in the eighth house, in the second house, or they could be a Cancer moon. All right, some moon arise and take it how it resonates. But I feel like this person is a very loving, tender type of individual, but they do get very moody at times. See, this person has unhealed um, karma. OK, some type of karmic debt and they have like some type of personal issue here that is yet to be resolved. Yeah. And it comes out here again, wanted to communicate this optical illusion, wanted to communicate um, things that has disrupted their harmony. OK, this individual is trying to stay focused, but something is clearly bothering them underneath the surface. So let's throw some tear on it for the person on Capricorn's mind. What's going on with them, please? And thank you. This is an individual that is comparing all of their personal connections, you know. It's like everybody could get the hell out right now. 
in this person's life, okay? They are doing a roll call. They are trying to see who all genuinely loves them and who hasn't because this person has been um, anticipating some type of hardship here. Why is that? Eight of Pentacles, because they feel like they've been putting in a lot of work here. King of Swords and the Six of Pentacles here in the pre-shelf. Well, it's like this individual feels like they have to have to strategically move forward. And like it's like they got to do all the work around them, too. They can't even trust individuals to hold up their bargain, okay? I feel like this person is working with some shady people, okay? And it's like a lot of people want... Um, to get like a piece of the pie they want to get a piece of this person's finances you know and it's like this person is trying to teach them how to fish you know but if they are scared to go to the water and put in a line it's like these people are just draining your individual of you know time effort and they're not getting anything back you know, it's almost as if, you know, this person runs a business and it's like everybody that they personally know wants credit, you know, with the sun car here. I feel like this person is following their dreams, you know, but then it's like the people that are around them. Yeah. With the devil card, it's like they got to like look to their right and look to their left, you know, and people are out here playing dumb. You know, they are still playing along so that they could still, you know, go to the top with this individual without doing much work. It's like they're the smartest per person in the room. Yeah. With the king of swords here, they're definitely well educated. OK, but this person, it's like they're trying to manifest something. They're trying to manifest better relationships. OK, with individuals, they are trying to um, better networking skills as well. Yeah, because I feel like this person has been betrayed in a way they're being burnt out. OK, and they're feeling like, you know, they are not manifesting the right partnerships in their life. OK, they're only manifesting people that, you know, want their own personal gain. Yeah, with the hermit card here, I feel like the person on your mind is um, slowly pulling away. Okay, we have Virgo here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, we also have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, all right? And this person is like really pulling away from everyone around them and they're really doing some soul searching here. Okay, with the Page of Wands here, I feel like this individual may reach out to you. All right, it's going to be something subtle, but it is going to be like out of the norm that this person is, you know, coming to you in this type of manner. With the Eight of Swords here, this person is definitely in their head about some type of endings that have taken place, you know, and it's almost as if they need a shoulder to cry on, you know, when they reach out to you. With the Star card here, it's like, it's like at the top, it's lonely, you know? This person is realizing that they're really lonely because they can't trust anyone. You know, the people around them um, with the five of pentacles here. It's as if they were all the way on the top on cloud nine and then something pulled them away from that. Um, I see people kicking and screaming out of this person's life. Yeah, with the five of cups here and then them um, having some type of remorse over how things played out. And even wishing that they had better people in their circle. With the judgment card here, I feel like this person is passing a judgment. Yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles, that they really want longevity here. They really want to be comfortable. They don't want to miss out on any more opportunities. Okay, and I feel like that's why this person is coming towards you. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups here, you can expect this person to come towards you with some type of offer. Okay. With the hangman, they're really trying to see how are you going to be towards them? Like, how are you going to receive them when they come towards you? Because they have a lot to say with this knight of swords. They're going to come in. Um, but with the high priestess here, they're not talking about that they're going to come in. So this may be unexpected to you. Okay, you could be feeling this person in your energy. All right. But I feel like it's taking them a long time to do this. All right. So it's like unbeknownst to you that they're going to come in with the temperance card and fix things with you. What pops out is the two of cups. This person feels a soul connection with you. And it's like, despite everyone else that they're letting go of their life, they're remembering that the two of you all have some type of really close bond. Yeah, with the four of swords and the four of pentacles, this person really doesn't know why they pull back from you in the first place. You know, they're trying to look back. They're trying to remember, like, why was I rotating Capricorn with someone else? You know, why didn't I deal with Capricorn, you know? Because with the Ten of Wands here, it's just like a burden. They feel burdened that they held back from you and that they showed inaction, all right? And it's like they're really focused on 
how can they come in and have this collaboration with you with the nine of wands they really want this okay with the nine of cups here it's a it's it's like a personal thing here okay but i feel like you know the grass wasn't greener in a way you know i feel like this person just trusts the wrong people as well and i just feel like they are really driven on you know the last bit of fight that they have in them they're gonna fight for you Okay, no matter how long it took for them to have this this revelation, this um, new perspective on your relationship. And it's like they really want this with the Ace of Swords here. Spirit is saying that that's the truth and that this person is going to come bearing the truth. Okay, they want to give you some type of justice here, something that they feel like you deserve. They feel like they could have betrayed you in a way. They feel like they could have not valued your opinions and beliefs with the Nine of Pentacles here. This person is saying like, well, I no longer have those attachments to me that potentially pull me away from you with the Seven of Cups here. It's like this person no longer has those illusions in their mind about how things could turn out with you it's like they judged a book by its cover you know as some type of energy like that what's the t what does capricorn need to know Look, what you need to know, Capricorn, is that they're running away from a wolf in sheep's clothing. This person is literally running in the other direction from somebody. Remember when I'm like, the gray, they thought the grass was green on the other side? It's someone that they were entertaining. You know, why didn't they hear you out the first time? Why didn't they see your value the first time? It's something like that, that this person is trying to hide, okay? And I feel like right now they're running away from a wolf in sheep's clothing, someone that tried to use them. Okay, currently they're looking you up. They're trying to study and look into your info. Okay. Yeah, this person is curious about you. That's what the T is. What else? This person has fake smiles. They're not really happy right now. Okay, this person has been through some shit with uh, false people in their life. Yeah, a caught a case, sexual infection. This person um, could have caught a case from someone, a sexual partner as well. And now they're running away from this individual. You know, they're still trying to keep that facade because they could be in the public eye. They could be having like a strong social media presence, but they're trying to still act happy. But it's like their energy is going back to you. They feel like this would have never happened had they deal with you first or deal with you, chosen you. But this person is moving, either moving on, okay, or just changing locations as well. What else? Yeah, they're in this uh, daydream and like nostalgic energy. They thinking about you long and hard and they're going to come in and start chasing you. That's what you can expect. Yeah, this person is loved and admired and even idolized. Okay, like I said, but they're about to come chase you though. Yeah, expect this person to come towards you, travel towards you. And you may be in this energy of being unfazed. You're like, yeah, okay. And while their head is in the clouds, daydreaming about you. You're over here getting photographic evidence about the fact that they moved on, the fact that they wasn't stunting you, okay? You may even see photographic evidence about an obsessive lover, okay? A real possessive karmic um, that they end up dealing with that they can't get over. See, moving on, thank you, next. I feel like you're going to move on from this individual, okay? They're trying to move on from this karmic, but look, stalker comes out. This person is literally stalking them, obsessed over them. And I don't feel like you want anything to do with that. This person feels trapped mentally, okay? And they could even be getting incarcerated soon. Yeah, it's just a waste of time, stuck. No changes are going to take place here. The bottom deck is scarcity tactics. I feel like the more that this person tries to chase you, the more that this third party stalks them. Okay. Yeah. This person is definitely into you. They feel like you have great vibes, great chemistry, and they're haunted by this. In fact, because it's like they made a wrong choice. They chose someone else and now they're haunted by the memories of you. This person could even be dealing uh, with drugs or toxicities or just falling into bad habits. All right. And know that they're extra triggered at the current moment. So what else can I tell Capricorn before I close out this read, please? And thank you. Okay, it says, have patience. Sometimes dreams grow slowly. Don't worry. The hard work you've invested will bring about a bountiful harvest. This is a good time to prepare because things will soon move forward quickly. Use this time to rest and plan. All right. So use this time to rest and plan. Things are really going to start to pick up for you. Okay. It says life is wonderful. 
Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small, luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. Spirit wants me to part the deck. We also have Dear One. You're being called to action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come into the fullness of who you are. It's a time of great creativity, giving birth to beloved projects and becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest for you. So I definitely see you chasing your dreams and I see success and abundance coming towards you. It isn't until after the fact that this person wants to come back and they want to be in your life after soul searching and thinking long and hard, you know, but I feel like you're going to choose to move forward. If this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support as always. Till then, peace and love.